What's up, everybody? I'm Calvin Eng. I'm the CDC at Winsun in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm back here at BuzzFeed. The last time I was here, Inga challenged me to create a dessert and an entree with ingredients from Daiso, and this time I'm cooking with ingredients from 7-Eleven from Taiwan. I didn't fly to Taiwan, but Inga was there recently, and she brought back some stuff for me to work with. Let's see what she brought back. <laughs> oh, this looks mad heavy. <laughs> this is like your whole suitcase. God damn. No. Dude, I can't even read Chinese, so I don't even know what the half of this stuff is until I open it and taste it. This is mad stuff, so I'm just gonna try to sort this out into two different piles to kind of see what I have to work with for an entree and a dessert. Preserved duck eggs, salted duck eggs. Customs won't let me bring that, so this is, this is replacement. Did you actually try to bring it? I took them out right before I went to the airport. Smart. Don't travel with eggs. <laughs> Little sack of rice. I would have brought back the entire rice bag. That's fair. Sea salt latte, interesting. Chicken corn soup, some more corn. I expected the snacks, not freaking duck eggs. Oyster sauce, nice. This is the brand I like too. Cool, entree, dessert. I'm definitely gonna use this rice. I feel like the rice is so versatile, you can do so many different things with it. I'm probably just gonna do soup just cause this is in English and I can read it. It says chicken corn soup, which is weird cause I'm used to seeing soup in a can, not like a four ounce pack thing. Let's open this up, check it out. Yeah, it's literally just like cup noodles without the noodles. I just rehydrate with hot water and that's it. I'm curious to see what these snacks taste like though, so I'm gonna bust these open. This one looks cool. What's up with the beer on it? Like, it works well with beer, I guess. Ooh, these are really good. Definitely use that. Sweet potato chips, add a little vegetable to the soup. Super crunchy, a little sweet. They're like big on corn soup. This is corn soup flavored. Looks like shrimp chips, but there's like popcorn in here. This is my breakfast. I actually didn't eat today, so it's a good way to start. More corn. All right, so we're gonna definitely gonna do something with corn. It's like five different corn things. Black pudding. Oh, so like, like blood. I don't know about this one. As he can't even tell you what that tastes like. It's kind of citrusy, which is weird. Yeah, we can work with this. Dessert, I'm probably just gonna do um, some chocolate mousse situation since we have marshmallows, and I know marshmallows contain gelatin, and so that should help set and bring it all together. I'm honestly not a big dessert guy. I don't really like sweets, so um, we'll hope this like works out. So I'm gonna start with dessert first, just because I know I need to let the mousse set, and then while that's setting, we can work on the entree. First, I'm probably just gonna take some of these marshmallows, melt them down with a couple different chocolates that Inga got me. wonder if these are flavored. A little bit, let's use them. One bag should do. Add a little oil, help get it started. But if you're at home and you have butter, definitely use butter and not oil. I don't even know what this is. You've had this before? Yes, it's my favorite. Mm. It's kind of salty, it's nice. All right, I'll save that for the crust. I won't waste it for the inside. Put the Oreos in that, and this bootleg hockey stick for the crust. Milk chocolate, it's in English. One of the only things here. Or, yeah, it'll work well. Dump it in. I'm definitely gonna throw this Kinder in just because I really like Kinder bars. If you're at home, you have milk, feel free to use some milk. But we have this latte, sea salt latte mix that I'm assuming will contain lots of milk. I'm trying to see how much water it recommends using for a packet, but once again, Nothing's in English. 250 to 300 cc. Milliliters? I don't know what that is either. F it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this in and taste it and adjust from there. We have plenty of packets if it needs more. Plenty of water if it needs more. <laughs> plenty of everything. <laughs> I'm sure afraid this won't set. Good thing you have more marshmallows. It smells really good. You smell it? Yeah, it smells super good. I'm just trying to melt it all, make it all like one mixture. Oh, it's not looking too hot. Might not set. I might need some heavy cream. Yeah, can I cheat with one thing this time? It's all melted now, so I'm just gonna pour this into a stainless steel bowl, throw it in the freezer, and let it hang out for a bit. Hopefully it'll set a little bit more once the gelatin cools, and then I'll whip up the cream and fold that in later. Wait, I didn't even taste it. <laughs> it honestly tastes like a latte. It says sea salt latte, so I'm just gonna roll with that and add a little more salt. 7-Eleven definitely sells salt and oil in Taiwan, so it's not cheating. Yeah, way better, cool.
So while the mousse filling is cooling, I'm just gonna work on the entree. I'm definitely thinking about doing um, like a bootleg porridge kanji. Chicken corn soup with the eggs, some of the stuff for garnish, and definitely throw rice in it to bulk it up. Let's see how this works. More powdered product. <laughs> well, all this stuff is definitely for convenience and super easy. If you're just buying this, all you gotta do is put hot water into it and you have a meal basically. But we're gonna jazz that up today. Yeah, I have no idea how much water, so again, I'm just gonna wing it and taste it. <laughs> this smells really good. It smells like, it straight up just smells like a sweet cheese doodle. And these three came out of that other square box. It literally just looks like cornmeal. Ooh, it's Ginomoto. So it has to be good. They make MSG, so everything they make is delicious. Dude, it's like corn, MSG, salt. It's gonna be great. All right, I'm just gonna dump this in and see what happens. I'll save one to adjust the seasoning later. Start this soup. Just whisking it up, let all that powder dissolve. Maybe just crank it on high and let it rock. I'm just gonna add my rice now. I'm just gonna put half. Oh, I forgot we have like actually fresh corn kernels. Ooh, it comes with like a little spoon. <laughs> Imagine getting this in your lunchbox. Just busting out a can of corn for lunch. It's kind of tight. <laughs> Yummy, I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in. The eggs, I'm probably just gonna throw them in last second. These guys don't need to cook. If you've never had this before, it's kind of funky. Duck eggs, I might just save as like a garnish and just grate on top. I'll crack this open now. It's typically eaten with kanji, so it's not even that weird. It straight up feels like a rubber ball. If I threw this on the floor, it would like bounce right back. <laughs> Do one more, it's a big pot of soup. I literally used to eat this all the time as just like a snack and eat it with pickles. <laughs> yeah, I was a weird kid. All right, I'll slice these guys up. It's hard to find like a sleeve big enough for this thing, so I took an old shoe box and I change it out like every month and it's free. <laughs> I just wedge these guys up. Yeah, it's super sulfurous. I don't know why someone would like this, but I like it. Actually, I'll cut into 12. It's a little intense to eat a big bite. Put that aside, keep checking on this guy. Just whisk it up so the rice doesn't get scorched or stick to the bottom. It's pretty, you got like carrots, a lot of corn. Not bad. I think it's a good way to like Clean out your fridge if you're at home. Just throw literally everything in it that's about to go bad. And it'll taste great. So I'm probably just gonna save the snacks for garnish. It'd be a waste to throw it in and just let it get soggy. So I'll put that on top or something. Let this hang out and then we could whip the cream. Just need a small amount. I don't want to get stuck. I like the elbows tucked in to the rib and a little more wrist. Oh. This is so f***ing tiring. <laughs> it smells really good. Since we have cream already, I might just add a little splash of cream in here as well. Just since we don't have butter. You don't need it, but it's nice to have. It's like a lot of things in life. All right, yeah, I'm happy with this. Like, looks little stiff peaks. Just pop the whole thing in the fridge. The soup rice situation is looking pretty nice. It's getting thicker. It smells really good. In the meantime, I'm gonna check out these duck eggs. It's fully cooked as well. I don't have to do anything to it. I love preserved duck eggs. Super salty. Sometimes I would just eat this steamed with like rice. The yolk should be bright orange, yeah. All right, not the prettiest looking things, but they're tasty. I might just use the yolks and just crumble them on top. That color, richness, and the whites will fold into the soup. Yeah, it's getting super thick now. I purposely didn't wash the rice, so it'd be um, extra starchy. Help thicken it up. So I'm just gonna keep cooking it. Water will keep reducing, flavor will concentrate. Should be good. Since we just like winged this whole thing, you could kind of just adjust to however you like it, but I'm gonna taste it now. It's pretty ready. It's corny but very bland. I'm just gonna douse this with some of this oyster sauce. Not too much, because I don't want the color to change. I think it's a really cool yellow right now. And we'll finish the rest with some salt. It's like Asian corn chowder. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm just gonna cut the heat now. Hit it with the cream at the end. I like the consistency it's at. Add a little cream for richness. Lighten the color a little bit. These guys, I'm just gonna throw in. Break it up with the whisk. The little salty bites are nice. Preserved eggs, go right in. All right, final taste, I don't think we're good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Right now it's not like fully, fully seasoned, but I know all this stuff is super salty. 
so it will be good. Now we're gonna go into dessert and finish that up, and then we could plate. The chocolate stuff set up pretty nice, honestly. We don't need the cream, but it took 20 minutes beating it. I'm gonna use it and fold it in and make it a little lighter. But I'm definitely gonna taste it again now, because things taste different when they're hot and when they're cold. Yeah, that's good. You can taste the salt, it's nice. Just do little by little and add more if necessary. Since we beat all the air into it, we just wanna fold using a spatula. No, it's good. I don't want it to be overly sweet right now. And it, I think it's perfect. Now we're pretty much ready to plate. I'm just gonna check out these Oreos, see what we could do with them, maybe layer them. I found these sick little glasses in the back. I think it's fun to use like little tacky cups versus like a bowl. Oh, it's not even Oreos. They're Cremos. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Stingy on the filling though. The lemon could be nice. Citrus and chocolate work well together, so I guess we could Use a little bit. I might just chop this up, mix it with some other stuff. Cream puffs, these look cool. Ooh, all right, I know what I'm gonna do. I like this a lot. I'm gonna like bury this in the middle like a little surprise <laughs> when you're eating your mousse. Not too fine, still wanna have some texture. So we just start building it. A little surprise. Ooh, I forgot the Pocky stick. These are probably humongous. They're a little dipper. All right, desserts are done. We can go in finishing the entree. They got a huge bowl here, so I'm just gonna serve it family style. You got your vegetables, your eggs, the protein. It's enough for like a family of five. A little white bee. Now we got all of these chips that we could use for more texture, flavor. And what's nice about like a thick chowder or soup like this, Everything you put on top will kind of stay on top. They're like croutons, but better. Little popcorn, guys. Little popcorn surprises in this one. Stick these up a little bit for some height. Oh, I forgot the egg yolks. Crumble a couple of these guys throughout. We gotta add a little more of this extra powder mix that we left on the side before. Just right over the top, since it wasn't even too salty. Yeah, I'm cool with this. There it is, Asian corn chowder. I think we use everything. I was a little skeptical when you started throwing all the chips on. <laughs> but it looks really good. I just love chips. I feel like you're gonna need like three separate bites to kind of hit all the ingredients up. It's a good bite. Corn chowder. Yeah. It's a really nice texture. Yeah, it's like kanji with the with the dough stick. Mm. That's good. Cheers. Wow, what was that sound? It's pop rock. Oh. It's, it's full of surprises. Oh, I got the lemon. From the Oreo. This tastes so much like, like coffee. I think because you're from the latte mix. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. This is good. It's like glass. <laughs> good job, Calvin. Thanks. You've done it once again. So today was fun. It went better than I expected, honestly. If you guys want me to do another store or another challenge next time, just let us know what we should hit up. Woo! Thank you. <laughs>